Reaction continues to the U.S. Supreme Court overturning Roe versus Wade in a 5-4 vote yesterday. I'm Dave McKinley. Claudine is off tonight. The landmark case established a constitutional right to an abortion. And without Roe, many states are expected to ban or restrict it. 13 of the states highlighted in red on this map have trigger laws, meaning they will almost immediately ban abortions, which some states have already done. Some other states may wait weeks or months, but the states in blue, like New York, will keep abortion legal. And tonight, some businesses are starting to speak up on all of this. Danielle Church joins me now. Danielle, what are they doing? Well, Dave, they're doing a few different things. Some are supporting their employees directly through money. Others are trying to raise money for organizations that give abortions. As some Western New Yorkers voice their anger outside the Supreme Court, People have all sorts in their parents said 50 years ago. Others rejoice. We are grateful for this decision. We celebrate it. We welcome it. For feeling like America has taken a step forward. Oklahoma already wasting no time in banning abortions. The people of Oklahoma have decided through their elected leaders and the governor signed uh, legislation making abortion illegal in the state of Oklahoma from the moment of conception, except in the instance of to saving uh, the life of the mother. Meanwhile, businesses across the country, like Dick's Sporting Goods, are showing support to anyone who does want an abortion. The company announcing they will give up to $4,000 to cover travel expenses for any employee or their spouse who wants an abortion, but lives in a state that restricts access to one. In Western New York, put a plant on it over on Elmwood Avenue is doing an outrage discount. The money saved will be given to Planned Parenthood while the plants provide therapy. It's just been just a barrage just after the other and you just wonder how much more you can take and like what's next. Oxford Pennant has also donated $1,000 to Planned Parenthood. They closed on Friday while still paying employees and say they will be planning a payday of action. Meanwhile... Through all the chance. We need to codify Roe. We need to pass a constitutional amendment. Someday these protesters hope to finally be heard. It's going to be hard, but this rage needs to turn into action. And those other companies enacting similar action plans as Dick's Sporting Goods include Disney, Netflix, JP Morgan Chase, Warner Bros., and Meta, the owner of Facebook and Instagram. In the studio, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.